What's going on guys in today's video I'm gonna share with you the best in-game settings for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 for the Kona Sam. Now guys I'm like level probably I think five or something I played very couple of I played a very short amount of games but I found like the best settings man because I actually played my first five games without the Kronos. I played the first five games without the Kronos trying out Pretty much everything, just feeling the game. You know, I was rushing in, I was dying, I was just shooting. I was just trying. Yo, what's going on, guys? So, this is the brand new updated Patreon tier. So, we have the insane values tier. So, this insane value tier will give you pretty much every single value. And I will be posting values every other day. So, I'll be posting some either like aim assist or one, two, like small spreadsheets. And we'll be updating it very often. I got a big team now. I got a couple people helping me with values. So, we'll be posting so much more. Now, for God tier scripts, this is definitely my favorite tier. All the Zen shot updates, all the Predator aim updates, the Rust, all the other. We're gonna have a, we're gonna have a Fortnite script real soon. All of that is gonna be head, uh, right over here for God tier scripts. Okay, God tier scripts are just scripts that I messed with, I adjusted, I set up for plug and play, all that stuff, all the values, the game pack, Lordy's Revenge, everything. All right, in this tier you also get one on one help. So if you're someone who needs help setting up the Cronus, you also get that. And yeah, we're going to be adding in updates every month and adding in new games every single month. For VIP Lifetime, it's just a one-time payment. You pay it once. And then once you join the Discord, I give you a lifetime access. And yeah, you get the, the Discord for life and all the updates for life, man. Make sure you check it out down in the description, boys. It's definitely worth it, man. Like, if you do have any questions, you can join the Discord and ask me. The free Discord in the, in the description. And we also have a private Discord once you join up. So any of these tiers, you will get access to the private Discord. And guys, trust me, it's going to be absolutely insane, especially with the next COD coming out next month. And yeah, man, thank you so much and take care. Find everything, you know, and um, at, from, from doing that, I was able to get like um, amazing Amos's value, which I'll post today and the next day. I'll be posting maybe four or five videos today. So make sure you subscribe so you can watch all the videos to get the best settings. Now, I hope my audio is all good, man. I hope it's not too loud, man. That's the only thing, man. That's the only man. You got y'all don't know, man. It's recording videos. There's just so much, there's so much like hassle, man. Like, let me just lower this volume because I'm just trying to show you the in game settings. So, we're going to press pause, guys. We're going to head over to settings. Now, first thing I like to do is click controller. And let's see. The first thing that I'm going to do, guys, is show you where's a button layout. Edit button layout. Now, I play uh, default button layout. Now, it's very important you understand which button layout you play on because this can tell you. Uh, which you have to adjust on your script. So if you're using a script and you're on tactical, you have to make sure that you change it to tactical. Now, if you're using a Zen shot script or like a Taylor drift script, it's always going to be on default. Okay. So you're not, not going to have to worry about that. Now you want to have controller vibration on. I play five, five. Now I think five, five is the best or maybe six, six. I wouldn't go much higher. I wouldn't go much lower. All right. Cause this game, you need to be very snappy. You need to have very snappy aim assist. All right. ADS multiply, you want to keep it at one. You need to keep it at dude. This is the most important setting. I got kicked. That's amazing. That's fine. We can go and say it or not. Let's go back to controller. So so this is the most important setting. Right here. Hands down, guys. If you lower this, you're gonna feel like that. You're not gonna feel the best effects of the Cronus, man. Hands down. Alright. Now, if it's too fast for you, you simply reduce your vertical stick sensitivity. That's it. Alright. Now, vertical aim axis, I didn't touch it. I left it all on standard, literally, okay? And, yeah, man, that's pretty much it, guys. I, this is my controller settings. Now, we can go to advanced, all right? I have everything on default, guys, everything, man. So, target aim assist on, aim assist type default, curve type standard, um, everything on default. I just... I don't know, man. I just found like even the even the the dead zone. So guys, I have it on the default, which you know normally want to keep it lower, but I kept it at zero point fifteen. Now I'm gonna tell you this. So either run it on zero point fifteen, but if you don't have any stick drift, like no stick drift at all, put it down to zero point zero five. So this is if you have no stick drift at all, bro. Like if you have stick drift, put it back to that default because. I feel like they put it, they they make the settings so that someone can come and just play. They don't make it so you have to adjust it, right? Just think about it, right? If you're going to put settings in here, you're going to want to make it so it's very, like, usable, you know? You're not going to want people to come and always adjust their settings. Because no one wants to do this, right? 
So like I said, my right stick 0 0.05, you have zero, uh, no, no stick drift. If you feel your control is a little bit older, keep it at the default, 0 0.15. Um, other than that, man, I keep everything just default, man. Everything, man. I just, I just keep it default. Now we're gonna head over to graphics, and we're gonna go to view. Now, a lot of people wanna play maxed out FOV. However, I think 105 is definitely the best because when you increase your FOV too much, your aim assist will, uh, will drop. So you will not have as much sticky aim while using 120 FOV versus 105. And this isn't like Warzone, so you don't need to have so much, um. FOV where your recoil gets reduced that much because you're fighting close range a lot close to medium range You want to have it on affected and a third person FOV. I don't know. I never played third person. So I don't trust me on this setting. Okay, but Yeah, camera movement you can reduce this if you don't want to see the effects I like to keep it like that man. I don't know. It makes me feel like I'm in the army shout out to the troops Shout out to the people serving the army man. Yo, I know some of y'all are in the discord some of y'all watching the video you guys are the real legend, the real heroes, man. Quick shout out to you guys. But yeah, man, these are the end game settings you want to be using for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 for the Code of Zen. Make sure you subscribe, guys. Make sure you like today's video and make sure you comment because I'm posting my best aim assist values right after this, man. So hopefully the internet can handle this upload. And yeah, boy, we're going to head straight to it, man. Thank you so much and take care.